Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about how to get max points on the basketball hoop, bokja, and weight machine missions in one run. Here's the attachment I used to complete these missions. Even though it looks complex, it is just made up of two simple mechanisms, a crank and a rack and pinion. The cube dropping mechanism is a crank and the lifting mechanism is the rack and pinion. Let's go over the cube dropping mechanism first. Here's what the mechanism looks like when taken out of the attachment. Now I'm going to take off one side of this mechanism so we can see what's really going on. I have already made a video about cams and cranks, so for more information about these mechanisms, you can check out that video. I'll go over cranks again here. Cranks transfer rotational movement into linear movement. Here's what I mean. As I turn the crank, the slider right here goes back and forth. And this back and forth movement is what pushes the cubes out one by one. When the slider moves forward, it pushes a cube out. When a slider moves backward, a cube is reloaded. And so how are the cubes reloaded and stored? Well, as you can see, the cubes are stacked in a container. When the slider is pushed out, a cube drops out and there's an empty space at the front of the slider. When the slider is pulled back, another cube drops into the empty space. And so when the slider is pushed out again, the cube drops out and the empty space comes back. And so when the slider is pulled back again, a new cube takes that place. And so this process is repeated until there are no more cubes in the container. Now, why did I choose to use this crank mechanism to drop the cubes? Wouldn't it be faster if I just dumped all of the cubes at once into the bokja instead of dropping them one by one? For the bokja mission, a mechanism that dumps all of the cubes would have been faster. However, since the basketball hoop mission only requires one cube, the dumping mechanism wouldn't have worked for it. The crank mechanism allows me to eject cubes one by one, which means I can use it for both the basketball hoop and the bokja missions. Now, to lift the basketball hoop, bokja, and weight machine missions, I use the rack and pinion. I have also made a rack and pinion video before, so feel free to watch that one to learn more about it. I strongly recommend learning more about this mechanism since it has been one of the most important and most used mechanisms in FLL for me. Now, rack and pinions are also very simple. Here's a smaller version of the rack and pinion that I have on my attachment. As you can see, rack and pinions are just a gear that drives a beam. And the gear moves the beam because the teeth on the gear interlock with the teeth on the beam so that when the gear turns, the beam moves. And because this rack and pinion moves up and down, it can easily complete the basketball hoop, bokja, and weight machine missions. Since the best way to learn about these mechanisms is to actually build them, I have linked the PDF instructions below. Keep in mind that the rack and pinion is smaller than the actual one on my attachment, so you may need to make it longer to complete the top level of the basketball hoop mission. You also may need to make the block container on the cube dropping mechanism larger to fit more blocks in it. I hope this video helped your team out. If you enjoyed it, please hit like and subscribe for more tutorials coming out in the future about completing FLL replay missions.